All right, so it's been a little bit since I covered actually just straight up Bitcoin mining here on the channel. So I thought, hey, what better time to do that than just now? Because we've seen a lot of new releases come out in the past little while. And we just had the announcement of Bitmain's new big boy, a uh, new generation of Bitcoin ASIC miners. So in this video, I'm going to have a look at these and we're going to look at it kind of from the perspective of an at home miner, you know, from the perspective of people like you and me mostly, are these new miners actually efficient enough that they are going to end up being profitable for people like us? And will they eventually ROI? Essentially, are they worth getting? Or is this just another one, um, another generation of Bitcoin miners that are just all gonna go to industrial miners and that will be the end of it. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around because that's what we'll get into after this quick word from our sponsor. Coin Mining Central, which is an online store for ASIC miners with an over six year track record of overwhelmingly positive customer reviews. They have all the latest and most profitable miners from silent home miners to full size ASICs. They can even provide immersion cooling systems and offer great bulk pricing on ASICs. On top of that, if you're in the US, you can also choose to order directly from their US stock of miners to get even faster delivery and to avoid customs and import charges. Based in the UK, Coinman Central prioritizes great customer support, strict personal detail protection and free worldwide shipping on all miners with no additional payment fees at checkout. You can also utilize their loyalty and referral programs to save on your next purchase. Plus, use my link down in the video description and code SEB at checkout for a roughly $130 discount on every miner in your order priced over a thousand pounds. Like the flu miner that I mentioned earlier, or if you want to get a discount on the iServer AE1 Lite or AE0, you can use the code SEBALEO instead. So if you've been wanting to get some ASIC miners, check out that link below together with the code to save on your purchase. All right, so just quick disclaimer here that yes, Coin Money Central who do sell these miners are sponsoring this video. However, as always when I make videos like these, they did not specifically ask me to make this video. I'm free to say whatever I want about these miners, be it good or bad. Convenience Center do not get to preview the video before it goes live to give feedback or anything like that. Plus in this video, I'm just more interested in just crunching the numbers on these things. And that's essentially just what we're going to be looking at in this video is hard facts and numbers. And the whole point of the video too is just to provide you guys with a spreadsheet that lets you input kind of your own predictions and numbers when it comes to stuff like your power rate and how much you expect Bitcoin's network hash rate to grow by and stuff like that. So yeah, that, that will be linked down in the video description for you to check out. But if after you've done all of those calculations yourself and taking your own situation into account and doing your own research, if you do end up wanting to get one of these ASIC miners for whatever reason, then I will provide affiliate links down in the video description to them. Uh, it won't make them cost anything extra for you, but the channel here does get a small commission, which does really help out a lot. And down there will also be a discount code that you can use for all of these miners. So yeah, if that is you, then please go check that out. But with this all out of the way, let's actually look at these new miners. All right, so here we are over on the computer and there are th mainly three new miners that I want to be covering in this video, but we will compare them to some of the a little bit older miners as well. But this is the first one, the Bit Deer Seal Miner A2. Um, yeah, you know, not as famous of a brand, not as well known, um, but does put out a pretty good um, efficiency numbers and, and all of that. and value for money in terms of a dollar per terahash and all that. We'll get more into that in just a little bit here as we open up the spreadsheet. The second one is of course the um, S21 XP by Bitmain, which is their current as of right now, most efficient Bitcoin miner uh, at 270 terahash. The um, seal miner here was around 230. This is 270 for roughly the same amount of power. But then of course, we're also going to cover the latest Bitmain miner with their new generation of Bitcoin miner, the S23 generation, which this first air cooled unit here comes in at a whopping 318 terahash per second. And this is all again around that three and a half thousand watts mark. Now, big 
a disclaimer here about the S23s is that they do not ship right now, not even close. They are slated for quarter one of next year, so they're well almost three quarters of a year away still here. So you're not gonna order these and get them right away. You're gonna order them, well, if you're gonna pre order them, you'll get them well into the future six to eight months away or something like that six to nine months away from now so very much do keep that in mind as you we are analyzing these things yeah let's get into the actual spreadsheet that i've made for you guys here uh, i've put some disclaimers here as well as how to actually use the sheet to make your own predictions about these miners link again to the sheet will be down in the video description but here you can see the miners that we are going to be looking at today and of course i've put just uh how much they cost and link to if you do want to buy them where you can buy them so just with that out of the way let's look at the actual numbers and results for kind of future predictions with these miners here so first thing here at the top of the spreadsheet there are four yellow fields which you can fill in yourself to help you make some educated uh, predictions with now, I do want to say here that, of course, nothing in this video is financial advice. I can't see the future. All we're doing is cranking some numbers and basing some future predictions here. But that, they are just that predictions. You know, again, no crystal ball. Can't you, We can never know exactly what will play out in the future. So please do keep that in mind. Now, I've put a power price of 15 cents per kilowatt hour here, which I think is kind of standard for uh, at home miners like you and I. Um, I've also put a estimated net hash growth of about 15,000 petahash per month. I've, I could, what I could tell that is roughly how fast the Bitcoin network hash rate is growing at this moment. Um, you might have a different opinion and then you can input your own prediction in there. Um, that's just what I'm going for for this example in this video. This field is if you believe that after you've been mining on your miner here, that you will be able to sell the miner on this is how much of the purchase price you will be able to sell it for. So, for example, if you bought a, you know, $9,000 bit main S23 here, this means that you believe that after mining for it for 500 days, which is the last field here, uh, you would be able to sell it for four and a half thousand or half of what you bought it for. And then again, we already mentioned this just now. How long will you be mining with the machine for? And that is kind of what we're basing the, uh, you know, predictions on a little bit further down in the spreadsheet here. So with that out of the way, let's just look at the actual uh, statistics for these miners. We can see here the hash rate for these different units, the um, power consumption, they're all around that three and a half thousand watts mark, except for the S19K, the little kind of budget uh, miner that I put in here to kind of contrast some of the other ones. But then we get kind of the two main fields to compare miners on just a kind of like one to one basis. These are the two statistics, if you will, that are kind of maybe most relevant when just comparing miners against each other. So what are they? Well, they're the efficiency, which is just how many watts of power does the miner uh, produce per terahash of hash rate that it gets. So how much electricity does it use per mining performance that it puts out? And we want this number to be as low as possible. We want it to use as little electricity as possible per amount of hash rate that it gets. And you can see, no uh, surprise there, the new generation of Bitmain S23s uh, is the most efficient there at about 11 watts per terahash. And you can see how it kind of scales here where, of course, the cheapest unit has the worst efficiency and then there's a scale like that. And on the flip side, you have the price per terahash, or as I like to call it sometimes, value for money. And that is just how much money are you paying per terahash that the miner gets. And this is kind of usually flipped around where the most efficient unit, the one with the best watts per terahash, has the worst price per terahash. You're paying a premium for that power efficiency, unfortunately. And yeah, that very much is the case here with the Bitmain S23 being a lot more expensive per terahash than something like the S19K Pro. Now, as we can see, there are some units here that offer a pretty good balance between the efficiency and the price per terahash. 
um, and to kind of have a different kind of look at this because some like the raw numbers some people they vibe better with sort of a points system so all i've done here is i've just translated it to kind of a relative score out of 100 where the best one gets 100 for efficiency and the best one gets 100 for value for money so you can see if that's easier for your brain to wrap uh, its head around these are essentially the same numbers just in a different way as a kind of score system Let's look at the actual mining results uh, as of today. So current daily mining revenue. That's just how much dollars worth of Bitcoin do these miners bring home per day right now. You see the S23, if you were to have it right now, which you don't, it's not coming out until next year, uh, would bring in just under $17 of um, mining revenue daily. Um, but of course, running these things do cost money because you're paying for power so what i've done to kind of uh, display that in a easier to understand way in this spreadsheet is what is the highest power rate or uh, electricity price where these units are still actually profitable where you're still earning more than it's costing you to run these uh, on your power bill and for the most efficient one here that is uh, 20 cents per kilowatt hour is the most expensive power price where the unit is still profitable. So we can see here for the kind of least efficient one, the S19K Pro, uh, you'd need a power price at 10 cents per kilowatt hour or lower for it to even make any sort of little bit of profit daily. Now, next, we have a very interesting field here, which is the lowest price for Bitcoin where these different units would be uh, profitable at your electrical rate. So this does take your power price into account here. So I've entered 15 cents per kilowatt hour here. And what this shows is what price for Bitcoin. So as of right now recording this, Bitcoin is $104,105 per Bitcoin. And what this does is it shows you how much does Bitcoin either need to grow in price for these miners to be profitable at your, you know, power price, which you've input here. And again, this example, 15 cents per kilowatt hour, um, if it's not profitable right now, or if it is profitable right now, how much can Bitcoin's price shrink before it becomes unprofitable. So let's just look at the extremes again here. The S23 at 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Bitcoin's price could go as low as $78,578. And this miner would still at this point in time be profitable at 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Or in other words, Bitcoin could lose about 25% of its current value as you can see here, 0.75 and it would still be profitable. On the flip side of that, we have the least efficient miner here, which is the S19K Pro again. And we can see for that one to become profitable at a power price of 15 cents per kilowatt hour, Bitcoin would need to grow in price to around $164,000, uh, which would be about a 1.58 times or a 58% growth in value. And finally, before we wrap up here, I want to cover this, which is the lowest Bitcoin price needed for you to ROI with these miners. And that is, of course, based on the circumstances that you have input here. So mine for what I've put here, 500 days, you might want to increase or lower that amount. Selling the miner for half of what you bought it for. This amount of net hash growth per month. And of course, your power price here. So with these, as I've input them here, we can see that Bitcoin would need to grow to about $154,000 or $155,000 after the 500 days and you sell all of your coins at that point and then you would ROI the S23 here. And that does take into account you selling the miner for half of what you bought it for as well. So you'd still need Bitcoin to grow by about 50% after 500 days of mining with the machine at current circumstances, right? For the S23 to ROI. And you can see here that even though that's a lot, 
That is also the best one out of all of these. But I do want to point out again that this isn't even out yet for another, well, six to nine months. So you'd probably be better off then with something like the S21 XP, which is, you know, slightly worse in terms of efficiency, definitely cheaper per hash rate, but you also get an additional six to nine months of mining with it before the S23s do come onto the market. But with all of this said, the way I look at this is, yeah, I don't think Bitcoin mining is for us at home miners anymore, or still, even with the S23s being announced and whenever they will start to ship out. Uh, it's just out of our realm. Uh, if we do kind of uh, change this thing to something like, you know, four cents per kilowatt hour in terms of power price, which is what the, you know, a lot of the big farms, uh, the big industrial mining farms that do mine all of the Bitcoin have this extremely, they have these extremely cheap power rates. Then we can see that, well, you know, to ROI a miner like the S23, then Bitcoin doesn't even need to grow in price. It can actually go down in price. And because their power is so uh, inexpensive, some of the least uh, expen or efficient miners actually becomes the highest likelihood of ROIing with the S19K Pro. Uh, for that one, uh, in their circumstances, Bitcoin can get a lot of $70,000 after 500 days and it's still ROI. So yeah, all of this to say that I think for people like you and I with, you know, semi high power rates, at least compared to the big industrial farms, yeah, Bitcoin mining isn't for us. I think the much better avenue to go down in those cases are altcoin miners. And I have a lot of videos on my channel about altcoin miners for uh, people like you and me. So I'll put two of those on the screen here that you can watch next. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or learned something. And yeah, I'll see you in one of those videos on the screen. Thanks for watching.